welcome back to my channel is your girl once again glory family love by the title you already know what you're about to watch today we are bringing a new brand video for you 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 and you and this video is gonna be um all about cooking we are go i'm going to be showing you guys my own recipe my own way of making Nigeria oil or palm oil rice as popularly called. Today is a Saturday and it's weekend after cleaning up and putting things in order as usual. Um, I just said I should make a video of me making um, the palm oil rice for you guys. And I'm going to be showing you guys now my recipe and the things I'm going to be using before we dive in. Come on with me. First in our list is rice. This is the rice we are going to be using, and the, that's the amount of the rice. And fish. As you can see, fish. And this is um, dried or smoked um, catfish. It's called in Edo language, it's called a bevarie. And this is um, chopped onion. This is um, maggi, and this is salt. And palm oil, pepper, ginger, and crayfish. We are going to be using the crawfish. These are the grounded ones, and these are the ones that have not been grounded. So I'll be mixing it, although maybe I will not be using the whole of it, but I'll be taking a little bit from the boat. So, guys, that's all my recipe. And first, thing we are going to be doing now i think we are going to be boiling the rice sorry for the lights is going and coming we are going to be boiling the rice so let's dive in guys so guys about as i've already showed you guys my the things and the list of things i'm going to be using now i'm going to be putting the rice in the in the fire to to boil i'm going to parboil it for up to like 10 minutes then I start cooking it. Okay, let's dive in. First, I'm going to be putting hot water. I don't know if you guys are hearing me. I'm going to be putting hot water because I don't want to put in cold water. Because if I put in cold water, I will still have to wait for it to boil before putting in the rice. So as I'm putting the hot water, I'm just going to put the rice right away. Then it's going to be faster for me. So I'm going to close and allow it to cook for five minutes. So guys, after bubbling the rice, I washed and set it aside. And the first thing I'm going to be putting in is my palm oil. I put in a good amount of palm oil because I love palm oil. I love, love, love palm oil. And it has a lot of health benefits also. I love my palm oil. I put in my palm oil. And the next thing I'll be putting in my onions. I also put in a lot of onions as well. I love my uh, native rice to, to have that flavor of onion. I love my rice with a lot of onion. And the next thing I'll be putting in the black um, smoked catfish. Because I want it to, to have that flavor from the onion and the palm oil. So I put it in and stir it together. So it completes everything together. Then the next thing I'll be putting in the maggi. My maggi cubes. I'll be putting in the maggi cubes. Then... Then I'll be adding my salt. And after adding my salt, guys, 
I will just tear it together. I will give it a good stir. Make sure everything is together. Everything is mixed up very well. And then I'm, I'm going to allow it to, to, to fry for about three to four, five minutes. Then I'll go back again, stir it together, and then I'll put in my fish, my mackerel fish. I didn't butter the, to boil it because I like it fresh. I like my fish when they are fresh. Then I'll be putting in my pepper, my blended dry pepper. I didn't have fresh pepper available it would have been better so I put in my my pepper then I put in my ginger after putting in my ginger guys I'll put in my crayfish I'll just put in a, uh, some of it and leave a little bit of it aside I didn't want it to be much since the fish is there and also the dry um, catfish is also there Then I will allow it also, I will stir it together. I will allow it to, the flavor to, to, to properly come out and everything together. Then I will add a little bit of more salt. Then I'll close it to to steam for three to five minutes again. Then I'll put in my water. Depend on how you want your rice. At this point, for me, I don't like my rice when it's so soft. I'm just going to give it, uh, allow it to cook for not for so long. I like my rice when they are still, not, when they are not soft when they are not overcooked so i'll just put in a little water then i stir them to get i stir it together after stirring it together guys then i see that the water will not be enough i added more water and a little bit of palm oil because i love palm oil as i've told you guys as earlier i added a little bit more of palm oil and a little bit more of water Added the palm oil. After adding the palm oil, guys, I also added one more cube of Maggi. Then I stirred together. After stirring it together, then I added a little bit more of water so that it can properly cook to my taste. I added a little bit of water. That's the water right there. Then I close and let it to cook. It's not going to cook for a long time because I already parboiled it for a few minutes before. So guys, I've shown it all to you. I show you how I do my own Nigeria um, palm oil or uh, red oil rice, uh, which is jollof. And I hope you guys like the, the 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 recipe. And don't forget to comment down below what you think. And if you also have other recipe you want me to show, or something you want me to do, or some videos you want, or you have a question, don't forget to comment it down below. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and give it a thumbs up if you like. And this um the rice is cooking now and when it's finished i'm also going to be showing you guys the end product thank you very much so guys it's almost done as you can see it's still boiling i still have a little bit of water in there and it's ready guys just need the water to dry up and voila 
after the water dries up that's it because i already love the texture i think the water would just be enough for it to cook and be okay the way i want it to be then it's ready to be served it's ready to be served thank you guys for watching and this is the end product of it it's so tasty. guys thank you very much for watching this very video and this is my end product it tastes so good it tastes so delicious guys i'm going to eat now mm. it tastes so good see you guys on my next video if you like this recipe simply try it out guys mm. it tastes good guys see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching if you if you have other um suggestion or other kind of recipe you would like me to try it, don't forget to drop a comment i'm ready to try anything just for you guys thank you very much i'm going to eat now bye and don't forget to go follow me on my instagram thank you